Probably not be such a cipher. What's a cipher? Not well, somebody that bloody uses their bloody cameras to film people without their consent. Well, he gave me his consent earlier. Well, I did. I don't need well, anyone's consent you. to film in yeah, public. No, don't film but my you, face. I don't consent. Well, no. to you, do, you do know that by UK so you, law, so you, you don't like, need anyone's consent to film in a public place. There's oh, no can right I film to. You back, then? Sorry. Can I film you back? Yeah, no. if you want, yeah. It's Nobody has easy. the right to privacy of their image in a public I, place. Okay, by fine. law. So spot the copper. You can call the cops you if you want. Oh, I was filming this man listen, to be fair, listen, and you listen, came listen, into the listen, conversation. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, and we had knife. an arrangement earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I cut the knife in between because I am the sword. I am. I'm sure all of you have heard of the world famous Glastonbury Music Festival, but far fewer of you will know much about the town of Glastonbury. A very unique eccentric, interesting place, full of strange, weird and wonderful characters. The video that follows contains a lot of very random and eccentric conversations, but they're interesting conversations and I have met a very unique and diverse collection of people as I've wandered around Glastonbury today and tried to get to the bottom of what the vibe's like in this town. So join me. You're in for a wild ride, folks. Let's go. You know what they call around here, don't you? Avalon? No. That's what I read. No, it, it is an island of, Isle of Isle Avalon. of Avalon. But the part is, it's an outside asylum. Outside asylum, yeah. like a lunatic asylum, but yeah. a free, a free-range lunatic asylum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you like it here? You think this is your type of place? Oh yeah, it, it suits me right down to the ground. Yeah, I've got my sort of uh, weird sense of responsibility. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you feel like you can sort of like drop out from society well, a bit, like it, 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 in your caravan in Glastonbury. Right. Or... If you get a young, a bunch of young lad coming up here. Yeah. And you're walking down in crew, you will walk the other side or yeah. double back home. Because oh, you think they might bring some trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Here, they're dead friendly. So even the young yeah. scoundrels are quite yeah. friendly. Yeah. 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 Even the yobs are <laughs> friendly yobs. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. They smack you in the face and you go, sorry about that, mate. Well, I'm not but sure. I'm not sure. Doing it. I'm not sure I'd like someone smacking me in the face, even if they do apologise for it. After. Yeah. Has that happened to you? Uh, once. Once since you've been here? Yeah. Now, you got some young, a young, well, a young lad about 14 or 15, come along, bag end, bag end. I went, I'm really happy to disappoint you, mate, because I don't take drugs. Nothing. I don't even have medication. Now, Glastonbury Town is chock a block full of all these unique, quirky stores that sell potions and incense and everything to do with magic and that attracts a lot of people that are of a spiritual persuasion. The rumours and the mysticism of the area of the town, they uh, include stories like the visitation of Jesus Christ himself, the story that King Arthur's remains lie in the abbey just at the other side of the street here. It attracts all sorts of people. Now you may sit on either side of the fence, you might think it's all a load of rubbish, or you might be a little bit spiritually focused yourself. I think that it must be uh, said that Glastonbury is a unique, very individual town. There's nothing quite like it. So let's wander around, let's see what the people who are attracted to come and live here, to come and express themselves in this town, Let's see what they've got to say. So the town is more based on spirituality um, and um, a lot of the sort of old ways. There's lots of different types of people here. There's, there's circles of fairies, there's circles of people making lots of money on spirituality, people that just want to sort of connect to the, the nature. There's a lot of people, sort of like commonality would be people that are in the Avalon flow. It's when uh, the synchronicities keep happening. You're just about to text someone and you turn around and then they're there. <laughs> That's Glastonbury. You think it's the type of town where people get trapped? Yeah, yes too. There's a lot of lost souls here. 
you just have to walk around by the white spring and at the foot of the tour and then you'll see just so many people so so many disillusioned disillusioned people with uh that that have um that are, have been harmed by society and and just uh and take it out on uh on people there's just a uh, darkness here that you know i mean everybody says there's so much light but really it's just very dark i mean there's a lot of bad things have happened here in the past when i was totally wounded in mentally and physically i found myself here to try and replenish myself and um you know with the grail and that kind of stuff but um, i don't know it's all gone a bit uh, pear-shaped and a bit sits up actually uh, when the festival is on me and my mates here haven't got two openings for up together. They make all that money from Glastonbury's name, yet they still don't even, you know, look after Glastonbury itself. Will you play me a song? Play. No point having a guitar there if you won't play a song. That's up to me, isn't it? It I'm is a, up to you. I'm my, my own master, my own, my own definition, aren't I? Yes. Blessed be the blessed be the honey bee, blessed be Do you mind me asking your name, sir? My name's Liam, but everyone knows me as Bugsy. Bugsy? Yeah, I've been called Bugsy. For, I'm 33. I've been called Bugsy for 20 years. You look younger than 33, mate. Well, I'm 33 in a month. What's life like on the streets in Glastonbury? Um, it's better than most places I've been. I've only been on the streets for about two years, but yeah, it's pretty good. Like, pretty good compared to Taunton. Yeah, I can, imagine, I can imagine living rough on the streets would be a far more comfortable experience in this town, this town than in many lovely. places I've been. This, this town is lovely. What's the community like? Do they treat you well? Really nice. Christmas Day, we do, we've got a Christmas dinner. So, um, a couple hundred people go to that. Um, you know, it brings all the different types of the community together. Nobody judges. Yeah. Um, well, I say nobody judges, but you know what I mean by that. Like, there's a lot less judgment in it being in different situations than there are in different places. Um, yeah, man, the church is here, really helpful, really good community spirit. Even the police, down to the police, I mean, they're more understanding, they'll give you something to eat, or... Really? Um, they, they, That's cool. They, they found me in, um, I'm sleeping in an abandoned garage. Yeah. It's just, it, when I found it, it was, the door was sort of ajar, and it wouldn't shut completely, but it's just a completely empty garage. Police turned up, and they, they were like, no, you're fine here, we haven't had any complaints or anything, but we just heard that someone was staying in it. I came back that night, and there was loads of brand new duvets in bags, yeah. And loads. it could only have been the police? The police told me the next day, they okay. said, did you get all our stuff for you? Yeah. There was like um, fireproof blankets. Well, I don't hear stories fire, like that when uh, I speak uh, to people around the rest of the country, mate. So There was, yeah, yeah brand new double duvets, uh, sleeping bags. Well, it was the police. All right, mate. Yeah. And the fire brigade, fire brigade went there as well, and they put up a fire smoke alarm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, so that that I just I'm glad I said that then because yeah. I I'd forgotten. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I, I hope things improve for you, mate. Yeah, my yeah. thank you for that. Sorry, no that, worries. Yeah. That will help loads. Yeah. Man. Yeah. 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 Have a good meal, mate. Okay. Because having food is keeps you warm, keeps your head strong. Of course, yeah. 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 Well, Liam. 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 Yeah. yeah. My name's Wendell. Wendell. Yeah. Wicked name, yeah. man. Nice, nice to talk to you, mate. Take care, yeah, mate. Take it easy. Cheers. Do you live in Glastonbury? I do, yeah. Yeah, and what's life like in Glastonbury? People often think about the festival, but they don't really know as much about the town, so you can tell them. It's a very pleasant place. It seems it. Very, very eccentric, pleasant place. I'd say diverse. Diverse, okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, friendly, warm place. And uh, so we... And I stand here weekends doing my... Christian evangelism. Yes, sir, yep. Yeah. And uh, people very um, pleasant to me. Thank you for talking to me. Pleasure. Have a Thank nice, you. nice yeah, afternoon. Thank you. You've got um, a very uh, nice, balanced, and open minded way about doing what you do, and I, uh, I respect that. I do. I appreciate Thank your you. feedback. Thank Andrew. You. Thank you, my friend. Brexit has caused a lot of problems and the hypocrisy of it is disgusting. Yeah. So I'm, I meet people that voted for Brexit, but I meet them on a beach in Italy. And I'm like, well, if you're so obsessed with England, with your English-waving bullshit flag nonsense, okay, with your <laughs> government, because there's so many <laughs> government, if people knew the truth about the British royal family, there would be an international revolution. These people, we have to understand, that Satanists, 
because the very definition of a Satanist is someone that is in opposition to the Creator. And it's not about Christianity or any of the exoteric or fake religions of the world. This is about, because all of these religions were taken over a long time ago by psychopaths. The Roman Empire created Christianity based on Egyptian religion. How much is a reading? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. And what will, how long does the reading take? Well, it would take as long as it takes, because once we're open, we're open to spirit, and then spirit will go. Let's have a reading. Yeah. Is that okay? Get comfortable then. Yeah. What's your name first? My name's Wendell. Wendell? Wendell. My name is Taurus. Taurus, nice to meet you, Eagle. my friend. Taurus the Eagle. Blue Cloud. I work with, with, with pure energy. Okay. So pure energy is all about love, air, our breath. So that is like speaking our truth. Yeah, letting the forked tongue out, speak with forked tongue. It's all to do with like releasing of that spirit and all that fear and that suffering. And, and look, unclogging your throat so we can speak. Unclogging my throat? Yeah, yeah. so we're all it. So how do, how do I go about doing all this? Because I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm not very experienced. You. <laughs> You're going to show me. <laughs> so we're not doing the reading yet. You were just explaining no, what you do. I'm, I'm explaining my table now. Yeah. So I'm going to put this to you because this might not work with your um, with your uh, way you do things. I got 15 minutes till my car parking's up. Okay. So give me the best reading you can give me in 15 minutes. Okay. I'm going to hurry you along. Pick them up. Pick all of them up. Yeah. yeah I'll have to. I'll You'll have to film you. me. Yeah, yeah. Just stick it at me. Yeah. Is Pick that all right? Up. Yeah. Yeah. Shuffle them. Like a deck Think of cards. about what I just said. Yeah. Yeah, opening up to spirit now, and spirit is guiding you and supporting you. So you're calling in the support of the animals. Yeah. Ask a question if you like. What internally or externally? Yeah, well, whatever way you want to do it, because you're you're connecting to your higher self now. Yeah. Okay. And I'd when ask, you finish, I'd place them the in the middle. Internally. Place them all in the middle. Yeah. And now I'll give you that. Thank you. And then we'll begin. At the moment, they're facing you. This is how you picked, and this is our spirit picked them with you. Yep. For me to read them as a reader, I need to pick them up, turn them around to me, if you notice. Connected to the higher self, full circle, lower self. This is how you picked them, this is our spirit picked them with you. So me as a reader, I can read them now. Now we go to the west. The west is water. Position it's in its adulthood. West is a recurring theme in my life. So I'm from the West Midlands. There you go. I now live in West Cornwall. Oh. And I used to live in West Coast Canada and I've visited Western Australia a lot. So West is a very recurring theme for me. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. Okay, let's get cracking. Right. Okay, let's carry on. Lynx is also, some people think it's it, it, it can connect with the Sphinx in Egypt. And can I show you my Egyptian tattoo? Yeah, no, in a, in a minute. Am I doing good? Have I got good spiritual energy? Well, now you understand. Do you yeah. feel my spiritual energy? Oh, is it yeah. good? Yeah. 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 Might, might not be perfect, but it have I got matter, rate yeah. my spiritual energy out of 10? I'm going to say 8. 8, I'll take 8. I'm an 8 out of 10. There you go, Vicky, so I'm an 8 out of 10. I understand these two. I got a feeling I could have been there for about two hours, maybe the rest of the day with him. So I probably didn't get the best value for my tenor. I'm not sure what I've learnt. I've learnt that I've got to go and pay for my parking before my car gets towed. Then we'll uh, we'll go back and we'll explore the characters of Glastonbury some more. How long will that last there? If um, it once you leave it, till it rains. Till it rains. So when it rains, sure. you've got to start all over again. And the council come round every Wednesday and wash them off. Really? The council come and wash yeah, them off? Well, In Glastonbury, of all places? The thing is, mate, again, it's only chalk. There's a lass called Lisa. I actually corroborated on that one. We're collaborating with her, so. Yeah. Uh, on that we, one, there. That was pastel. Pastel, and yeah. She, she sprays lacquer on them, because the council try and scrub them off. Why would they try and scrub them off well, when they're just so beautiful and give been, so much it's been an ongoing, life to the place? It's been an ongoing issue, mate. I mean, Lisa... She's a port as well. She does some beautiful stuff outside St John's. That's her normal haunt, you know. Um, but from day one, the council said it's graffiti. We're talking about low level, the council, <laughs> the guys who run, you know, clean the streets up and all that. And some of the lads have pointed out, no, it's not, it's art, right? Yeah. And, of course, I, I use a lot of quotes. She, she covers different themes, especially geopolitical. 
and all this, right? And it's not, it's not confrontational, it's neutral, it's trying to give people knowledge, you know, information, and then they can run with it and decide, you know, make their own choices. Of course, yeah. But I cover different themes. I've had people recently, and I'm talking about certain elements, right, locals as well, who scrub the words out. They believe in freedom of speech, but they don't agree with what I'm saying. They believe in freedom of speech yeah. unless it disagrees with their opinion. Cognitive dissonance. Yeah, yes, freedom right. of speech as long as as long as it's as long in as line it, with their narrative. As long as it goes along with the official narrative, right? Because these people are deeply programmed, as we know, there's a hell of a lot, right? And you try your best to stay neutral. I put website links on. I cover, you know, obviously I've been doing it for a long time, eight nine years. And People from all over the world, I've met all kinds of people. Well, it's a eclectic mix, all walks of life. A lot of them are starting to connect the dots, but it's about levels of awareness. It's a deep esoteric agenda. It's deep occult, right? Dark occult as well, right? And until people get out the naivety and ignorance and stop watching that idiot box in the corner of the living room. All this. Right? We're getting all that, yeah. all that. I've that's glad. a bigger problem than the yeah. idiot box in the that's, corner now. That's the gateway. Yeah, right? yeah, they got us uh, well and truly addicted yeah, to these it's things. It's a surveillance don't... device. That the reason the screen's black, yeah. it's a scrying mirror. It's deep, dark, and cold. Yeah. You know? And people didn't understand. Every single one of them, imagine seven billion yeah. or seven and a half, yeah. carrying them in real time, contributing to the next matrix you know people talk about ai and, yeah. and like the worry of us becoming symbiotic with ai yeah. i believe we're already symbiotic with ai yes. we've got the collective uh consciousness of humanity yeah. and we're addicted to it hardwired to it yes. umbilically attached to it carrying it in our pocket everywhere we go i don't have a phone i'm totally off grid but I'm still not, I still haven't got both feet out. What's your name, my friend? Gaz. Gaz. Wendell. All nice right, to meet you, my friend. All right. Nice Good to, to talk meet to you. you. To meet can I take a photograph of that you as can, well? Of course you can. Yeah. You're very talented, mate. So now, now the outcome of your reading is now you know the truth. Yeah. Huh? Now you can take appropriate action. Action. To and move can forward. keep communicating with your higher self. Yeah, and probably not be such a cipher. What's a cipher? Somebody that bloody uses their bloody cameras to film people without their consent. Well, he gave me his consent earlier. Well, I did. So, really? yes. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm just making sure. I know, mate. I don't need well, anyone's consent you. to film in yeah, public, read though. Read between the lines. Yeah. No, don't film but my you, face. I don't consent. Well, no. you, do, you do know that by UK read law, you don't need lines. anyone's consent to film in the public place. There's oh, no can right I film to. You back, then? Sorry? Can I film you back? Yeah, no. if you want, yeah. He's, let him, let I can't do anything about it if you film me. You d nobody has meeting. the right to privacy of their image in a public I, place okay, by fine. law. So spot the copper. Yeah. You can call the cops you if you want. No, no, I'm not you a cop. Are the police. I'm not a police. Tell. You are. How, well, how, do, you how do you think I'm police? I asked you not to film me. Okay, I'll turn are. it away now, though, yeah. Oh, well, I was filming this man, listen, to be fair, listen, and you listen, came listen, into the conversation. Listen, 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 oh, and we had an arrangement earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I cut the knife in between. Because I am the sword, I am the scalper. I do not like it when undercover cops. I know, I'm I know, not but listen cup. to me, brother. I want to do some readings now. Yeah, okay. So please give me some. Space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him be because I think my presence is no, uh, making cool. him uncomfortable. Yes. I need it might to be talk annoying to you. you. No I need problem. To talk to you. I'll wander off, do a bit more filming, and I'll come and see yeah, you again I'm in sure a bit. You will. Yeah. All the best, my friend. We can at least shake hands. No, okay. You win. You get the you last laugh. I have no idea what to make of my spiritual reading, but I do know that I have the right to film in a public place. And I definitely know that I'm not a police officer. Glastonbury, there's nowhere quite like it, folks. Certainly nowhere in the UK, which is as weird, wonderful, and eccentric, diverse as Glastonbury. I don't think I've been anywhere else in the world it's quite like it. The one place that springs to mind, possibly Byron Bay, Australia, but that's probably a little bit more backpacker touristy these days. I must say that the sense of community in uh, Glastonbury is, is unique and pleasant and it's been a really enjoyable place to wander around and meet the characters. There have been characters abound. I haven't struggled to bump into people 
to have unique and interesting conversations. So, not just uh, worth visiting for the festival if you can ever get tickets anyway, it's worth coming to the town and meeting the wonderful, strange characters of Glastonbury. Thanks for watching, folks.